You are listening to Hot Biz FM 88.1, the first business radio station in Sierra Leone. Today on CEO Hour, we're here with Mustafa Ninjai, the Gambian real estate mogul and TAF Africa Global founder, who has announced plans to create at least 25 million jobs across sub saharan Africa by 2040. TAF is short for Mustafa. In a recent interview with The Voice Gambia, Mustafa unveiled the company's plans to build one million homes in sub-Saharan Africa by 2040. Mustafa founded TAF Africa Global in 1990 to develop real estate in Africa. In 2018, he created a new mission for the company to develop one million homes in the next 20 years. Welcome, Mustafa Najai, to CEO Hour. Please introduce yourself to our audience all across West Africa. Well, thank you very much, uh, Madonna. Um, uh, I think you've done the introduction already, haven't you? You know, I tell people all the time that um, uh, my, my introduction is easy these days with technology. Just talk to my uncle. You know my uncle, huh? Everybody knows my uncle. Uncle, uncle, uncle Google, huh? Talk to Uncle Google or you talk to Auntie YouTube and you'll get everything about me. But on a more serious note, my name is Mustafa Njai, as you said. Um, I am a real estate developer, a born Gambian, but, but truly African. I mean, my drive and what I do it's on a continental basis. So um, that's who I am. And here I am in Sierra Leone today trying to develop 5,000 homes. It's amazing. Yeah. It's just absolutely incredible what you're trying to do with these 5,000 homes. Um, Taf Salon Micro City um, in John Obey. I mean, we can see behind us here in the backdrop the, the beautiful landscaping and the way you've done your scales. I mean, you know, it's so exciting. Please tell us more about this 5,000 homes. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, 5,000, uh, uh, what we've done is, before we come into any country, we do our own uh, feasibility. So we've done our studies, and um, we think within our capacity, we should be able to put up about 5,000 units over the next 10 years. So we're starting with John Obey. John Obey is 80 hectares. Um, 80 hectares, but we're putting 1,250 units in Jonobe. It's um, 80 hectares, 80, yeah, 80 hectares or 200 acres that we're putting up. So um, uh, we'll be starting sometime in October. As you can see here, we've set up our offices already. Uh, so uh, that's important to us. So anybody who's buying, because we sell off plan, we sell off plan. So you need to have confidence uh, in the people or the developer so that you can pay, you know, um, uh, up, up front. Um, then uh, set up the model. So anybody who comes in as a layman, you should be able to understand where and, or, and, or identify where your property will be. Okay. So that has been done now. That's the first phase. Okay. So we're moving on to the second phase, which is in October after the 15th. For obvious reasons, the um, rains will probably cease around that time, yes. and then we're going full force onto site. Mustafa, you have... 45 years plus experience in running your own business in the construction, housing, and real estate sector. Can you tell our audience the brief history of this journey? Well, I, I, I left um, uh, high school at 18, like everybody else, and uh, stubborn and just following my passion. I mean, I, I graduated from high school in 1975. Wow. But I, I was just passionate about working with my hands, technically, and I had of Division 2 at that time in woodwork, which was an unheard of at the time, simply because people didn't want to be seen after leaving high school to be doing anything technical. Mm -hmm. But I think it was a blessing for me that I just followed my passion. That's what I loved, working with my hands. And I got employed in the same school that I graduated. You know, I graduated in June and I was employed in September as a junior teacher. And that's where my career started. So from 75 to date, it's 48 years actually. Wow. I have been working nonstop. And since then, I've just developed myself. I mean, I've worked for, as a teacher, for about a year and a half. And then I went into construction, working for international firms. And I've done everything in construction. You know, from being an engineer's assistant, to a project manager, to an assistant general manager. 
And in 1990, I started my own business, which is, it was called Tough Construction. So in the Gambia, I've done quite a number of things. I mean, from construction, building material sales. I used to own a hotel, you know, so but everything real estate related. And in 2000, I went full time into real estate development, started in the Gambia. But see, after that, you know, I found the niche to expand into the sub-region. Um, it's a long story. I've been into so many countries, uh, not only in West Africa, but across um, the continent. Uh, I have been to 36 African countries so far, you know, and um, I have registered my business in nine African countries now. But we're very active in Nigeria. You are listening to Hot Biz FM 88.1, the first business radio station in Sierra Leone. 